Hello, this is Ace Kumar Fan back finally on YouTube to this time bring you the Let's Play of Jet Lancer. It's a new 2D shooter game that just came out today, May the 12th. And you know, it's a very like retro style game with jets and bosses. So I thought, you know, I might as well put that on my YouTube channel. So here we are. Just like Ace Combat, you have the, like a normal mode when you start, but there's also like a new game plus. But that's only like after you unlock everything in the game. I haven't gotten that far yet. I just played pretty much the, the first mission the tutorial. So let's get started. I like the silhouette. It's very sexy playing. Now let's get our engine started. We can head out. So this is just gonna be like a small tutorial how to play the game so I can use my uh, analog stick to control like where my aircraft points to and also like the thrust so we can actually move somewhere. Go to the waypoint. By the way, I am playing with my controller, the, the DualShockers 4, and uh, this game is available on PC and the Switch. So you can also play like with your mouse and keyboard as well if you want to. We have our waypoints passed. There's gonna be another one. But this time we get to use the afterburner, which will, of course will make us go much faster, but it only works for a limited time. We're gonna overheat very soon and then we can use, only use the regular thrust. We have our last checkpoint. We try to go all the way up into the sky, but then like you stall it. And of course, if I go down too much, I'm gonna eventually crash onto the sea, which is that line. Our enemy to take care of, so uh, let's uh, engage. We have our guns, we also have uh, our missiles, which are called the game rockets. What you do have to watch out in this game is that if you do uh, get too close to the enemy, you can crash and you can lose one of your lives. That's why you see that icon there at the bottom, because you're pretty close to crash. Throw a missile at them. The missiles in this game have a very good track, it's almost like a QAM for me. There's also a dodge button, in case it's a square. I guess that the uh, missiles are behind you, or uh, you're too close to the enemy, you can press it. So I'd rather not try. There you go, and that's like the little prologue victory. We get a little bit uh, our our ranking with the points breakdown. So you see, I didn't get any counter combo and S plus. Oh, that was that was good. It was like a clean one. All lives maintained, and we got the little ace. You can also expand, and you see like the score breakdown. Obviously, it's like the shorter the time you have, the better. The more accuracy, the better, and all that kind of stuff. Flushing coolant. Depressurizing cockpit. Rebooting digital displays. Looks like the coffin system. Can you hear me, Ash? Loud and clear, Cap. This new jet is a beauty. It took a minute to get used to the interface, but wow, I've never flown anything like it. I'm glad you like it. It's all we could afford after the last mission. Guy who sold it to me couldn't wait to get rid of it. A beast like this? Why was he in such a hurry to sell? Supposedly it was a government prototype that never made into production. He claimed it was because the AI was hunted, but I'm sure it was just bureaucratic red tape. Explains why he kept scanning for eutropic threats. Hey, why does the instrument panel say limiter on? Are you trying to hold me back? I don't do limits. Don't touch that setting. Like I said, this thing's a prototype. It's unstable. The limiter is the only thing keeping from tearing itself apart. So turn it off probably would kill me? Yes. Got it. Lead with that next time. So what's on the menu today? Nothing too fancy. The first space bureau are having a planned military satellite deorbit operation soon. 
The crash site will be swarmed with all kinds of scarvengers and sky pirates looking for debris before it's buried under the sea. They want me to scare some rats of a pile of space garbage? What's next? A pizza delivery contract? Have you forgotten about your uh, last week's contract with the HMS Vanguard? Uh, you mean when I single-handedly saved it from the Sky Pirate Raiding Party? I'm referring to the part where a couple of your low-altitude maneuvers sent your plane and two Sky Pirate jets careering into the deck. We, and by me, and by we, I mean you, are still on the hook for 350 million credits, and the government isn't a very generous creditor. So why are we taking these nickel and dime jobs then? A couple of real contracts would pay off that in no time. As much as I'd love to put you in mortal danger right now and let our insurance policy cover things, our carrier doesn't have a hover drive. Without a hover drive, we're stuck taking whatever jobs we are offered in the sheltered sea. Ugh, I'm sick of being trapped in this stupid kiddie pool. But fine, whatever. A job's a job, I guess. That's the spirit. Now get back to the bridge. We have some navigation to do before we get to the crash site. Roger that. This job may be a little garbage, but at least it's a good excuse to see what this new bird is capable of. That is like the little end of like the, the introduction here, the prologue. We now have to control our carrier. There you go, the carrier simulator. We got the city, we can uh, crash on that. Uh, and as you can see, as they say, the, the, the kiddie pool is because like the shelter sea is like it's like a lake. So, like you can't go to the real world. That looks like a like a lighthouse or some crash stuff. So that's what I'm gonna leave up to you guys, this was the prologue, the first mission is here, just come and uh, I'll see you in the next video, I hope you guys have enjoyed this new game, this new style, let me know what you think in the comments, and I hope to see you next time, thank you for watching, see you there!